Hi guys, Nexi here, back with another video and today I'm gonna review something really cool. This is the robot mower, but it's not the usual one with a perimeter wire and with the random pathways. Instead, this is the smart robot mower that have ultra precise GNSS navigation, AI cameras, ultrasonic sensor, it's super quiet and it will cut your loan in a perfect straight lines. So, stay tuned for the review. Welcome back guys and thanks for tuning in. First things first, let's start with the unboxing. Here is the retail box of the RoboUp Mower 1200 Pro model. It's suitable for loans up to 1200 square meters and this robot comes with a 3 years warranty. Now if you open the box, the first thing that you're gonna find is the quick start guide and the very nice and detailed instructions which will tell you everything you need to know about the mower, how to install it and how to use it. Fast forward and here you can see everything that was inside the box. We have the robot mower, charging station, spare QR code stickers, RTK base station antenna, ground attachment, antenna pole, spare cutting blades and screws. Next we have the power supply, warranty card, extension cable for the power supply and RTK antenna. Next we have the user manual with a quick start guide and here we have the fixing screws and the allen key. This is the closer look on the real-time keramatic antenna. The RoboUp uses advanced GNSS technology with a multiple satellite systems like GPS, Galileo and others to achieve the ultra-precise level of accuracy. Here is the closer look of the 72 watt power supply. The base station cable is 10 meters long and the power supply cable is also 10 meters long. Both cables feel high quality with the rubber seals on the end. These here are the fixing screws for the charging station. And this is the basically a distance limiter that you can place on the mower if you like to, when you're manually creating the map. Now, let's have a closer look on the mower itself. The RoboUp have very nice design and the build quality feels solid. Combination of the light and dark silver color looks very nice. The wheels on this robot are quite big, they are 8.5 inch with the large rubber treads. The ground clearance is very good and it's around 5.7 cm or close to 2.5 inches. On the front side of the mower we have the AI dual camera system headlights and the dual charging contacts. The camera system consists of the two cameras. One camera is used for V-SLAM, driven with the AI, and the other one is used for the obstacle recognition system. On the right side we have the ultrasonic sensor, which is used for perception, obstacle avoidance, edge trimming and for cutting the grass around object and obstacles. On the back of the mower we can see the handle and the battery cover. On the top of the robot we have the LCD display with a backlight, control panel, stop button and the rain sensor. Here is the closer look on the robot. Right here is the battery cover and this is the trimming disc. The robot automatically changed the left and right rotation of the disc to evenly use the cutting blades which is nice. As you can see we have the offset trimming disc to achieve better results closer to the edge of the lawn. Here on the front we have the front floating wheel suspension that adapts on uneven terrain and reduce probability that the robot can stuck. If we unscrew the 5 screws and lift this sealed cover we can access the robot battery. The battery has a large capacity of 5000 mAh and it's a 18 volt lithium ion which will give you around 2.5 hours of working time per one charge. Charging from 20 to 90% between mowing, it takes around 1 hour and 10 minutes, which is pretty good. Alright, and now let's do a quick installation of the charging station and the antenna for the robot. Once I pick the place for the robot up, I place the charging station on the ground and I use the 6 long screws to secure the charging station to the ground with a supplied Allen key. When I had all 6 screws installed, I took the robot antenna, I connect antenna cable and secure the antenna to the first part of the pole. Then I screw down the second pole. 
Now depending of your installation place, you can add all three sections and install the antenna on the ground level or you can install it on your garage or on your house. In my case I'm gonna install my RoboUp antenna on the top of my roof. Since I already have the leftover bracket from the old TV antenna, it will be perfect spot for the RoboUp antenna. So I will need maybe one or two sections. Alright, now when I have the antenna installed and the power cable connected, I place the cable inside the home AC cable housing. Rest of the cables I hide with the stones and installation was complete. The antenna light is solid blue, which means that we are connected with the satellites and we are ready to go. Now it's time to turn on the mower. One long press on the power button and the system will boot on. The stock pin code is a four zeros and after that I set up the date and time and scan the QR code. I download the RoboUp app and I install it. After user agreement I choose my country and I made the RoboUp account. Next stop was to add the mower so I enable Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth and I connect the mower to the app. After initial setup on the app and tutorial videos I connected mower to the app. Now we need to create the map. There are two choices, automatic or manual. I choose manual mode as I want to set my custom boundaries on my lawn. So I start driving the mower close to the edge of my lawn using my phone and slowly create virtual map of my garden. Driving the mower was very funny as it feels like a big RC car and I drive the mower exactly where I would like to set up boundaries on my lawn. After that I drove the mower around our pool and around the trees to create no-go zones, the first map around my house was finished. Now the robot was ready to go, so I just click on the start in the app and I let it do the first job. Now while the robot is moving the garden, let's have a look in the app which has a lot of features. On the main page the robot app shows you the picture of the mower, battery percentage, status and connectivity. If you click on the image it opens the map and here you can see the mower pads that he is finished and where is the robot on the map in the real time. Next there is the current communication state of the mower, RTK status, battery percentage and the robot status. Here you can see the total lawn area, mowed area and time. Here you can start or pause the mower and here you can send it to the charging station. You can also zoom in and out on the map or move it around which is nice. Now if you click here on the upper icon on the right side you can access the mowing settings and view or edit the parameters for each zone. You can edit things like cutting height, mowing pad control and mowing angle as well. Next if we click on the lower icon here you can edit the map, create boundary, no-go zone and passage for the each zone separately which is really handy. Next, if we click here on the right upper corner, it opens the whole list of options and features. For example, we have the mowing settings that we just checked before, we have the spot cutting, scheduled mowing, remote control mode, which lets you driving the mower in a manual mode, just like the RC car, device log that captures errors and working log, rain mode makes you choose when the mower should continue after the rain is detected, blade replacement, tells you when you should replace the blades, anti theft that will sound alarm as soon the mower leaves the map area, no mowing which will let you to set a specific time when you don't want the robot to work, connect Wi-Fi, here you can choose which connection you prefer to have with the mower. Next one is the basic information about the mower, serial numbers, Wi-Fi signals, MAC address, RTK status, firmware, mower firmware and etc. Here if you click on the device pin code it will show you the current pin code on the robot in case you forget it. And the last is a device update. Here you can see the current firmware and the update of the mower over the Wi-Fi if the update is available. And now let's fast forward a few weeks of using this robot mower and let me tell you my experience with it. Total size of my property is 2000 square meters and the surface covered with the grass that I would like that this mower can handle is around 1500 square meters, which is a slightly bigger surface than recommended for this model, but I had no issues using it on my lawn. I just split the area into the few zones and it was fine. Now on my lawn there are many obstacles like 
9 very tall and big trees, 6 pieces of the fresh planted trees, 2 small tuya trees, kids pool, storage, 2 large kids house, 3 park benches, swing, sandbox, trampoline, slide and a few pile of stones. And that's not all. The lawn has also uphills on a few places and some uphills on the edges are pretty steep. So the task for any robot mower is quite difficult. And on top of that I have a two small kids that loves to leave toys, bicycle and other stuff on the lawn. So for me having the safe and smart robot mower is very important. Thanks to the AI cameras the robot can recognize the objects taller than 10 cm without a problem. So kids, cats, dogs and other obstacles are no problem with this robot. And when you get close to the object it will simply stop, change his path or go in other direction. Sometimes it just drives around it. It's pretty cool. One thing to mention that you should have in mind is that the smaller objects that are less than 10 cm cannot be recognized all the time. So the small toys and the small objects are not always safe. With the big wheels and floating front suspension the robot adapts really well with uneven terrain and it was never stuck. It even has the adaptive moving system which will retract the cutting disc when passing small rocks or uneven terrain. The cutting discs are offset to the right side so that the robots can cut grass really close to the edge which is nice. As the robot goes you can see it in the app exactly where he is. If you close to the mower the app will update the pathways pretty fast. If you are over the 4G and far away from the robot, the movements in the app will have some delays, depending on your connection. Cutting the lawn in the night time with avoiding obstacles, it's also possible thanks to the bright LED lights on the front and the AI cameras. And I gotta say that it's a very funny watching the robot working at night. Now let's talk about some minor issues about this robot. For the most of the time the robot was working great, but I did notice that sometimes that the robot can slip and lose traction on a very dry and steep terrain, especially if he is going sideways. It feels like he needs more weight on the back wheels. That issue I solved by changing the angle of the path from 0 to 90 degrees in the app. Also keep in mind that all movements of the robot are registered in the app. So the robot knows that he missed the spot and he will return later to make another pass. Which is great. Next small issue that I had with this robot is the firmware update. From the box the firmware on the robot was 3.4.12. And the app will not let me use the mower after the first setup. And the app was demanding that I do the update which I was not able to do. So I click on the button, I did not get the update and the app automatically created the request case for the support team and I went to sleep. After like 9 hours I received an email from the robot support team that says that update has been sent to my app and that now I can update the mower to the latest firmware. So I just opened the app one more time, I click on the update button and the robot started to update and finish in about 10 minutes. That was it. I was very impressed how fast and professional their support was. Other than that I had nothing but a positive experience with this robot mower. The robot is a brilliant robot mower with some high-end technology and great built-in features. It's easy to install, it's silent, safe and smart and it's cut the grass beautifully. Our lawn was never looked this nice and beautiful before. The robot is doing excellent job and I'm really impressed with it. So if you're looking for the robot mower I can easily recommend this one. Alright guys, I hope that you liked this video and found it useful. The links for this robot mower you can find in the video description. Thanks for watching and I see you next time. Bye bye.